Yo, what is up? What is happening? Welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes. As you would have seen in the last episode on the E30, it has all been painted, it all looks fantastic and since it's come home, I have spent a very long time just looking at it. I'm very happy with the job that has been done and uh, but now it's basically a blank canvas and it is ready to be pieced back together which is super super exciting and I've decided the first thing to start on piecing this car back together is the body kit because it's currently filling up my lounge there is a bunch of cool parts that are needing to go back onto the car bumpers side skirts door trim mirrors front valance over there spoilers everything and uh, it all needs to go back onto the car the hardest bit about it all is deciding which bit i want to put on first but we're going to make a start today and make this car look more like a car again first thing i'm going to put on the car is these side skirts um because well to be honest they're just an easy place to start so let's get into it i've got a big box full of clips and parts and this is just one of the boxes but this is all the new stuff that i had to order to get this body kit to sit perfectly like it did from the factory on the car again so we're gonna have a bunch of fun today getting into all of these parts and uh fitting these bumpers While the car is in pieces, it is a great time to take little bits of black plastic and metal that hold the whole car together and clean them up real nice. And the other day I got some degreaser, scrubbed these down and today I've painted them. I'm going to do the same today. I've got some degreaser over here and I'm going to scrub these vents down that um, sit in the boot right behind the rear bumper and uh, scrub them down with a bit of degreaser and a brush, rinse them off in some water and once they're dry we can paint them and they'll all look nice. is currently in the middle of the garage which is great because in a double garage like this one you have plenty of room to work around the car front back sides underneath even inside the car you've got more room when it's sitting in the middle however other people live here too my family and if they want to use the garage for some reason my car is taking up all the space to move the car I need somebody to help me to push the car out onto the driveway and then push it back into the garage again so it sits on one side but I'm often working on the car by myself because it's late at night or people aren't available or whatever and so I simply just can't do that. Not gonna lie, that actually looks real cool. Like, uh, I don't know why, there's something about that. I like that. It's Anyway, these things work great, um, but when you're not using them, they're a weird shape. Like, trying to store these is probably gonna be a little bit awkward, but um, super cheap. They've given us this stand that I'm about to put together so we can stack them and just wheel them away. Just 
just to show you, I'm gonna put one on. Look at that! And so you can put like all four of them on there and just stack them up. Yay! The other two are on the car, but you get the idea. Pretty neat. I haven't been filming at all, but because my car is 30 years old, I've been repainting a lot of the screws and bolts and clips and things that are going back into the car. Um, I've just been using some black paint, nothing special, um, but I ran out of that one and I found this one, which is a primer and paint. So I don't need to prime anything, even though I haven't been really already. Um, I've just been given it a quick coat of black. This is primer and paint, and uh, I have some primer here too, so if I want to be real fussy, on things like this I can do two coats primer and a primer and paint It is now time everybody. We've come to that point in the process where we get to put the face back on the E30. Oh, I need my glasses. Blind without them. Oh my goodness, look at that face. Man, this has given me so much inspiration to finish the car. I was about to start mounting the rear bumper to the car when I realized the mounting points are different on the car than they are to what's on the bumper. And that's because this car used to have a tow bar. And here it is with the brackets that I need. This is where the big bolts go through that hold on the bumper, but they're on the tow bar. So we're gonna have to do a few modifications today. BMW made sure that this tow bar was going to stay on the car and not get ripped out by any heavy load that it is towing. There's a nice thick piece of metal there which is sandwiched between the tow bar and then this bracket which goes on the inside of the boot. However, these little brackets here have seen better days. They look like they've been in the ocean. So I am actually going to make some new brackets today by using the scrap metal, tracing out what I need, cutting it out and painting it up and making it look all nice. I'm not going to need this bit I don't think because I'm not going to be towing anymore. It's simply to hold the bumper. So I'm just going to be making pieces for this little flange here. The other thing I'm going to do is cut off these flanges off the tow bar so I can have my brackets back. Once I've got everything made up, of course, you guessed it, I'm going to paint it black. Some time has passed and uh, I have cut up the tow bar and made the brackets that I needed to make. I didn't really film this process because it's just one of those days, you know, you just want to work on cars, just get stuff done. And that's what I've done. So we cut up the tow bar. Um, this was the tow bar. There was a big bar in between it with a tow bar in the middle where my head is. And uh, we cut this up. Um, my dad and I used the drop saw to do that and then I sanded them down and I uh, put some rust neutralizer on them. Um, and then once that was dry, sanded it back again, primer, and I did a couple of coats of primer, and then about three coats of paint. Um, 
My dad made these up for me while I was at work the other day. That's some little brackets to go on the inside of the boot to mount those brackets. And uh, yeah, so thanks for that, dad. And then I sanded them back and primed them and painted them as well. I bought some brand new stainless bolts to replace the old rusty bolts which were absolutely horrendous and totally corroded so we're going to be replacing them with those so hopefully it'll never rust on this backside ever again and I know you're probably thinking no one's ever going to see any of this but I do all about the details I Nathan. see it <laughs> all about the I details I see it in my heart let's get the back bumper on <laughs> right yummy What are we doing? It's time to put the bumper on the car. That's sick. Oh. Get your bumper on. High five. Yeah, nice. Having the rear bumper on makes the car look so much better and uh, yesterday I spent quite a bit of time painting this little bad boy because uh, I wanted it to look refreshed and because you're touching it all the time every time you open the boot um, I thought you know what do it properly and although it takes some time at least the paint won't wear off overnight. Something my dad did for me was sort out the boot latch situation which is amazing now the boot closes which I know it seems simple but uh, I was struggling with that for a while, so thanks to him, it closes. But the car is still missing something, and that is the spoiler. So we're gonna be putting that on, um, but the problem is we've got a couple of bolts. Some of them are there, but some of them are not. They have literally rusted away. So what I've got here is some double-sided tape, some outdoor stuff. There was an extra strong one, but this seemed strong enough for me and it was like one third of the price. So I got this to put this two-piece spoiler back together and then I'll figure out how we're gonna mount it to the car. Still got most of these bolts, but there's one or two missing um, that have rusted away. But we wanna make sure that this is stuck on and it's gonna stay on for a long, long time. JD, on the other hand, He's been busy uh, working on this little piece over here. Wow, Nathan. Painted his I feel, wheels black. I feel bad. Why? Because I should be helping you in your car. That's all right, bro. It's kind of a one person job at the moment, but I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, Nathan, we've just been working on the wheels. Uh, the wheels were plastered to black and now they're uh, now they're a gloss black, which is really they nice. They look way better than they way did before. Better. And now the roof racks, they're really a little bit faded as well. So we're going to take care of those. We're going to turn those black as well. Uh, not plastic dip. Plastic dip is the worst. I spent hours trying to get the plastic dip off these wheels. It sucked. I did it a long way though, but it doesn't matter. So roof racks are going black and uh, I'm going to see if I like it or not. If I do, awesome. If I don't, I'm going to have to come up with another plan. But other than that, Nathan's going to keep working on his uh, end deck too. Put the rear spoiler. And then I'm going to finish off this last roof rack. You! And then, then. And then. And then. Dumplings with coffee. Dumplings. We just bought a coffee. <laughs> I came up with this idea of putting double-sided tape on these bolts um, and poking a hole in the middle of them so they fit right over the bolts and when I put the spoiler on it will not only be bolted on but it will be stuck down with these and hopefully keep the boot water tight. Now there shouldn't be any water getting near those holes anyway because the spoiler is going to be on top of the boot but just in case and uh, if I have any problems with these I'll be sure to let you know that this didn't or did work but uh, I think it's pretty ingenious someone's probably done it before but hey easy enough worth a try let's get it on the car Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my 
Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow, Nathan. It's like it's meant for the car. You think so, eh? Yeah. The spoiler is on, but I'm still gonna chuck those bolts on the inside, on the on all of them apart from one because it was rusted out. Bam. But I reckon that's gonna stay on, and I reckon it's not gonna leak. Nathan, you know what's gonna happen? What? You're gonna drive this car at 500 miles an hour, and you're gonna have a whole lot of downforce on the back of the car, and the spoilers are gonna go. Bah, 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 bah. Boom, 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 boom. No, no, it's not. The body kit is now on the car and it looks amazing, if I must say so it myself. It really does, Nathan. When I put the headlights in on the car, it was like putting the eyes on a face. Like, that, it just looked amazing. It's funny how much the lights of a car can make so much of what the car looks like, yeah, Nathan. It's like, imagine it's just so not cool. having like, just... <laughs> and who doesn't love the round E30 lights, Nathan? I know, just so good. Perfect. Like the, the Skyline so lights at the back, just... Yes. Yeah, but it's, not, that's not you know about what? The it's not about the skyline right the now. It's about, it's about my car Nathan's for once. E30 and it's finally <laughs> looking like a car. One thing that we didn't film was fitting the sunroof mechanism back in. That was very difficult. If you've ever touched one before on an E30, you'll know what I'm talking about. Most people just weld the panel back in, but I was adamant. I had to have the sunroof thing like, popping up. Nathan, that's the skyline. E30. The like, skyline actually has a sunroof yeah, that kind of opens no, up as well. Yeah, but it's not about skyline, bro. Okay. Like, it's not okay, just about right. skyline. You're right. That was something that I really wanted to have. Shout out to my dad. We spent yeah. ages trying to get that working, lined up, and everything, and now it does. And I'm super happy. Well Nathan that's very exciting and now a few more things to happen on the E30. Yes at the moment I'm chucking the wires back in the car. I'm trying to work out where they're going. There's a lot of noodles there Nathan. There's so many noodles and it's like a bird's nest. You know when you order noodles and you put your fork in and you pull it out and it's just like like everywhere? Everywhere. Yeah that's what it looks like so <laughs> I've been trying to separate them. And, and just work out where they all go. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Exciting. I don't know how much I'll film of that because it's not really that fun watching someone <laughs> do that with every wire. Yeah. But once I've worked out where all that stuff goes, then we can start putting interior pieces back and oh, plugging man. stuff in, making it look like a car on the inside again. We are great. now on the journey to getting this car to move. That's the goal. That's the goal. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoyed this update on the E30. Nathan's uh, E30 is probably the cleanest E30 that I have seen in my oh, whole entire life. In thank real you, bro. Life. Thank um, you, bro. It's okay, man. I rip into thank you all the you, time, man. so I think now is the time to just really Your skyline's say, pretty clean, too, bro. I know it is. Thank you. Super stoked at being able to make some content on this car, because I know it's been a while, but plenty of things in the pipeline. That's it from us today, guys. We look forward to seeing you again very soon. Make sure you check us out on Instagram and we will see you in the next video. Peace out. That's sick, now to bolt it up. Woo, safety tape coming off. Dang, look at that. Mmm. That is beautiful.